guys. There's the uh, <clears throat> 310 e backhoe. Um, we're having some problems with it. Um, get back here and show you. I got a 36 bucket, forks, 24 inch bucket. It's an excavator, a mini excavator quick attach. <clears throat> but our problem is this cylinder is leaking. Yeah, it's got hydraulic leaks in it. <clears throat> um, so yeah, we're having some problems. Um, <clears throat> and it's like a 99 model. So, um, I hope to be using it soon because, well, I mean, I used it yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I've been doing some work with it, and uh, this uh, the ground is um, there's like a pipe or something under there that made the ground so soft, and uh, water drains back there, and this. Thing made a <clears throat> it buried it up to the uh, bottom there, and uh, yeah, yeah, I got it stuck. And <clears throat> yep, there. I had a video posted, um, not too, let's see, a couple days ago, um, but. We uh, cleaned it up since then. We used a uh, heavy duty degreaser. And, uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah, I got something with my throat here. Scratchy throat. But, yeah, we took a pressure washer and just degreased it. And it looks a whole lot better. Um, now that. <clears throat> That windshield there, it's not glass, either, and that, uh, and right there, it's not glass, it's, uh, no, the other one is, but it's like plexiglass, it's, um, tell you, I hate that plastic stuff, oh, I hate it, because it gets scratched up easy when you're running through the trees, and it's so hard to clean guy I bought it from said it's just dirt. It is not dirt. Because we have scrubbed, scrubbed, scrubbed. <clears throat> um, I'll get back around here. <clears throat> had to uh, buy a new pen for it yesterday because when I was changing to this 36 bucket I lost the uh, pen and I'll show you this uh, pen right here before it lost I got that I had to get a new one yesterday <clears throat> and uh, this backhoe has a 71 horsepower but it's got uh, it's got some power. You tie a chain or a strap on the back, uh, on the, let's see. right here. We're getting there. And that tractor right there, that back hole, pick it up with that boom, fully extended, even. But it's not extended hole. I do hate that. And they did not put air in these cabs back in the 90s. For, um, for the workers to get too lazy. But it's more of a <clears throat> person with land. It's not, uh, I don't use it, use it as a, like a, on a construction site. So, 
Yeah. Yeah, it does not have an extended hoe, which I hate that part. But uh, flip out riggers, I really like that. Oh, I gotta show you guys one thing. I think if you ever run out of diesel, which you have to do this, um, about every, if you don't run it for like four or five days, you can open that compartment and uh, this whole thing right here, like a priming bulb or primer, maybe we can get fuel back in there. Hydraulic fluid or transmission fuel, oil fuel, and the uh, stick, dipstick. Um, <clears throat> it's a, uh, it holds about 15 gallons of fuel. Dang it, I forgot I don't have my key with me. Well, Bia has a hydraulic leak and, uh, yeah, one right there. <clears throat> So, uh, that is the backhoe and our story for today. See you guys later.